Yo, what's up guys? My name is Glocka and welcome to another partnership video with Intel. And today we have this one. Boom. Intel has sent us a 10th gen Intel Core i7 powered laptop. I know it's from the previous gen, but wait. Okay, there's more. Okay, this is an Aorus 15G XC. It has an RTX 3070 card. Imagine that, guys. So the question is, can a 10th gen i7 processor keep up with an RTX 3070 and the latest RTX games? We're about to find that out. Let's go, Tech Glocko! So Intel sent us a laptop that has the i7 10th gen, which is the 10870H paired with the 3070 RTX GPU in one small compact package. I want to learn how it helps with content creation and with video games, of course. Thanks to the 8-core, 16 threads, and the 240Hz OLED panel. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! The first game we'll be diving in is CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077. This game requires decent hardware, and luckily, this laptop should handle the requirements needed. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, now we're in, we need to check the settings. Let's go... Ray Tracing Ultra. Alright. Not bad, for 40 FPS average. This powerful laptop can actually run Cyberpunk 2077 decent. Alright, let's jump into a more heavy scenario. Let's find some fights and drive around the city. Now we've killed these bad guys. Let's go get our car. It looks like there's one more bad guy left. Alright, now that it's done, let's go right around the city. Sorry, pal. With ray tracing on, this game looks fantastic. Even with 30 to 40 FPS, it's still playable. And you don't need high frames to play single player games like Cyberpunk. Let's go to a more crowded area, a more dense area with uh, a lot of people. Let's go to the markets. Impressive. I can still play this game with ease. Oops, someone wants to attack me. Let's finish this guy first. Then let's go back to the scene. Alright, now we're walking around the Night City and I gotta say, it looks fantastic. Alright, let's go hop in my car. Drive around the city one last time. Oops, sorry, buddy. And that concludes Cyberpunk 2077. Let's move on with Valorant. All right, first off, we got to double check if reflex is off. And I want to see how I play with reflex off on a 240 Hz monitor. Don't 
progress if I die. It was great knowing you all. All right, let's do this. Also, delete my heart. Fight. Time for a feat. Whoa. Gotcha. Ah. Oh. Ah. That. God. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I see you. Oh. Oh, I see you. Wow, he's good. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get one kill. Ow. Oh. Wow, I... Whoa. Oh, boy. I'm just bunny hopping around. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. One more kill. I gotta get... Oh. Well, that wasn't what I expected, but okay. Not bad, I guess, for 20 kills. Okay, let's try with NVIDIA Reflex on. Match Alright, well one more try. Sure let's go. Yeah. Oh, I see one. Nice. Alright. Came back, nice. Oh no, oh yes. Ouch. Whoa. Gotcha. Ow, ow, whoa, whoa, where is that coming from? Bye bye. Ooh. Oh my god. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, that's Valorant, everybody. So that concludes the feature of 10th gen Intel Core i7-10870H CPU. Back to you, Gloco. Thank you, TechLoco, for that very informative information. Oh, no. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's it? Uh, that, that, this is it? Oh, oh, oh no. Y yes, yes. Uh, Yes, please. Yes. I'm, I'm going to do another. Okay. okay.